Kiss 105.3 and 1340, where hip-hop and R&B live the day party with your favorite DJ, DJ Diesel. Y'all, let's discuss some hip-hop news. Now, it is time for... Diesel, what the hell happened today? And a lot of stuff happened today. Y'all, I wasn't here Friday. I was off. I was working at the Peacemaker Festival in Fort Smith. Big shout out to everybody in Fort Smith and the Peacemaker Festival. I had a great time out there. So, y'all, we have not talked since Thursday at Queen B. Beyonce dropped her big project on Friday, so we got to break that down. So one of the things that we did get to talk about Friday, and this happened right before the project dropped, Khalees was big mad. Khalees' song, Milkshake, is sampled on Beyonce's song, Energy. Khalees said she ain't know nothing about it. Ain't nobody hit up about anything. Talking about how Beyonce should have called her and talked to her, and Pharrell should have hollered at her, and she was in a bad deal. And I, Bottom line is this. Khalees does not own nothing that has anything to do with Milkshake. All the appropriate people was contacted. And really, Khalees, need to chill out for Beyonce by Khalees' whole catalog. Just chill out, Khalees. All right, just chill. Be happy that Queen B showing you love and sample one of your songs. Talking about samples, I got to give Beyonce credit for this and the production team. Beyonce sampled Tommy Wright the Third and Princess Loco song Still Pimping. Y'all, when I was about sixth, seventh grade, me and my man Jay Jackson, DJ Good Money, we was riding with our old partner, Carl G. So we go with Carlton to Oak Grove. Carlton was playing basketball there. Carlton was in high school. We young cats. We cheer Carlton on. Whole ride there, we listen to Tommy Wright the Third, Underground Memphis rap. And the whole time we singing Tommy Wright word for word, watching my man Carl G go down there and put 20 on them boys. So that, that would touch me right there, y'all. But Tommy Wright the Third, Underground Memphis rapper from the night. And she also sampled Kilo Ali on her song, America Has a Problem. She sampled his song, it's named Co. Kane, America has a problem. That's the name of his song, y'all. But Kilo Ali was a pioneer in Atlanta rap. He dropped his first album, I want to say like in 91. So I'm telling you straight up, Beyonce and her production team and all the producers, they dug deep in the crates on some of themselves. So big shout out to them. I appreciate that, y'all. It's a hip hop head. Now, y'all, let's go ahead and get to the album. I really, really enjoyed Beyonce's album. Let me say this first thought. It is not her best album. She experimented a lot. She wanted to make a dance, fun album. She did get in too deep on the lyrics. It's not a lot of songs she's trying to, you know what I'm saying? Not a lot of R&B ballads, you know what I'm saying? But she's doing her best vocal work. But she just made a fun dance album that is needed in today. I love it. Uh, been bumping it all weekend. I'm going to tell you that straight up. Y'all, Church Girl go hard. Cozy go hard. Alien Superstar go hard. Really, the majority of the album is dope. And one of the biggest things that I enjoyed from the project is the transitions. Like, she goes from song to song, and they kind of just flow. And it even made me, like, break my soul a little bit better the way that it's put in in the album. Like, she's kind of building up to that song. So it's really, really dope. But I love the album a lot. Beyonce, you did. It hasn't dropped since 2016. And Beyonce dropped a dance album on your head top. And don't forget, this is one out of three. This is a trilogy. So I don't know when the other project's dropping, but they'll be dropping soon. I got a feeling one of those will be real R&B. You know what I'm saying? Just, just old school R&B. But this one is not, and I enjoy it. Y'all, in other news, I got to give a big shout out to Drake. I don't want this story to be forgotten about. You know, Drake's big OVO Fest was supposed to be this weekend. Drake caught COVID, so I hope Drake's okay. But he did get a chance to do his opening show. And his opening show was the Northern All-Stars. And it was basically like a bunch of Toronto rappers that he grew up and inspired him and a bunch of rappers from Toronto that did their thing back in the day. And he got them all together for his show. I thought that was super dope. And a big shout out to Drake. Drake's the one that made it. You know what I'm saying? He's the kid that made it. And he showed love to the old heads that inspired him from Toronto. Now, I'm going to be real with y'all. I looked at that bill of rappers. I didn't know the majority of them. Like... 97% of the rappers I didn't know. I knew Cardinal Official from back in the day, but uh, big shout out to Drake for doing it. And he even brought out Nelly Furtado. You know what I'm saying? So that was really, really dope. Y'all reported last week that uh, Fabio Foreign said that he signed to Mace for five Gs. He said he needed that five Gs, but that's what he signed to Mace for. He was still in the deal with Mace. Mace said Fabio Foreign is a damn lie. 
He said, yes, he did give him $5,000, but that wasn't the deal. He said they went to the record company. He said he got Fabio Foreign $750,000, and it was supposed to be eight, but Fabio owed him $50,000. He said, Fabio, this up there lied on him. Y'all, I don't know who's telling the truth. I'll let y'all know as I find out more. Y'all, the albums that dropped on Friday, once again, we missed this on Friday, but uh, K Kemp dropped, Hot Boy dropped. Uh, Doughboy drop, Suicide Boys drop the new project, Domo Genesis drop, Little Shorty Scott drop, Bankroll Freddy drop, and Wiz Khalifa drop the new project. And of course, the big project is Beyonce, which we already broke down. And y'all, last but not least, big shout out to Icewear Bezo. He just signed the Quality Control Music. We just talked about it a couple weeks ago. Uh, they signed Gloss Up. Well, P from Quality Control is still signing artists, and people are taking that deal. Shout out to Detroit veteran Icewear Vezo. Icewear Vezo been in the game for 10 years, putting in hard work, and now he's signed to one of the biggest labels in the game. Y'all, that is what the hell happened today. We'll be back tomorrow. We're here on Kiss 105.3, 1340. It's your boy DJ D. Sewell.